Saskatchewan. When one thinks of the prairies, they envision waving fields of yellow and green. But over the past 50 years, a diverse range of color began to change the landscape. Harrington, CDC Bethune, Laird, CDC Teal, CDC Meadow, and CDC Maxim. A few of the names you will hear across the prairies and internationally. These names represent change. These names represent new CDC varieties. Varieties that have been developed to address the future needs of producers, markets, and the world. These names represent a fraction of the varieties that have been developed at the Crop Development Center at the University of Saskatchewan. The Crop Development Center was established in 1971 with a mandate to improve economic returns for farmers and for the agricultural industry of Western Canada. Fifty years ago, the Crop Development Center realized that for producers to remain viable, they needed a variety of crops that were best suited for our ever-changing climate and market. With such a dependence on commodity prices, market fluctuations and the weather, producers couldn't afford to have all their eggs in one basket. It was clear to us at the time, because it was a very small department, we were not able to service the needs to the extent that they should be for this province. And yet, half of the arable acreage in the country is right here in Saskatchewan. So we were simply not able to service that need. So there were really two things we wanted to do. First of all, to increase the uh, amount of research that we were doing for the crop industry of Saskatchewan. And secondly, to diversify the range of crops uh, were available to Saskatchewan growers. The key thing is that we listen to farmers and to the markets. One of the first researchers recruited to the Crop Development Center at the University of Saskatchewan was Dr. Alfred Slinkard from the University of Idaho. He saw the potential in crop diversification with the grain stockpiles and falling prices in the mid-60s reinforcing how volatile a one-crop economy could be. Now, the real reason, the real reason behind this project is we're trying to get away from this one crop economy, which Canada underwent in the late 60s. We grew wheat, they couldn't sell it, so what do they do with it? So here we have an alternative crop, a high protein crop, and the current worldwide shortage of protein really makes this as a critically important crop. And I think that you're going to see if we attack this from a, a coordinated effort, from all angles, we can sort of push this program as a unit and make peas into an economic entity for the prairie provinces. The CDC has enhanced existing crops, developed new crops, and created novel uses for traditional crops. The CDC's impact on both Saskatchewan and Western Canadian agriculture has been huge. The CDC elevates Saskatchewan's reputation as an internationally recognized leader in research and bioscience. The CDC has a long history of improving crops finding new uses for crops, and developing new crops to improve the economic returns for producers and the industry. Well, as a producer, it is really important that we have the options to look at different varieties. I know there's a lot of different options out there and it's not an easy thing to do genetic research. I understand that. I, I went through the master's program myself at the U of S and uh, there's a whole nother level of learning and understanding behind that. With the history of, of working with farmers more and uh, really focusing on, on what do the farmers need for varieties in the future and now, that's really important to kind of foresee a little bit and to listen to farmers. What do you need and how can, how can we start creating these varieties or developing these varieties now for what you may need in the future? Not only have producers benefited from the research of the Crop Development Centre, but plant breeders have also been able to collaborate and develop better crop varieties that eventually end up on your table. At Makers, we're able to take it, you know, from farm to table. And really, that infrastructure that allows for that includes the CDC and the breeding of these varieties for our geography. In Saskatchewan, it's world-class. We have 
one of the best breeding programs in the world. A really good example of that was the Bow Project that we did a couple of years ago. So CDC Bow is another barley variety developed right here at the U of S in Saskatchewan. And we were able to take a new variety that in the big system would take a number of years to propagate enough seed, to develop a marketplace, and then to be commercially brewed. Um, we were able to take it in that first season, grow it, malt it, have it brewed, and then we brought it all together at a couple of events where each person talked about their part of the supply chain and what the project meant to them. So Aaron, uh, you know, talked about the breeding, talked about the goals for this variety. Uh, we were able to talk about production and how it worked in the field. We were able to talk about the malting and how it went through our process. And then a bunch of different brewers were able to talk about what they made, how it worked in their process. And then beer lovers and other industry members were able to taste it, look at it, and talk about the beer. It's just really unique to see that come full circle. Today, the Crop Development Center at the University of Saskatchewan is known as a world leader in the agri-value industry. We, as farmers, we have to keep up with the technology and it moves very quickly. We have to be able to kind of foresee what we might need in the future for agriculture. And so it's really important to have organizations like the CDC to be helping farmers out. The CDC is unique in a very positive way and I think its foundational strengths are really the vision of the province of Saskatchewan through the Ministry of Agriculture and the University of Saskatchewan. To me that's been foundational to their success. We've seen other institutions in Canada come and go over time and when I look at why others fail it's because they don't have that foundational support. What really makes the CDC strong and sets us apart is that our work spans the research continuum. From the basic foundational research to applied research where knowledge from our research trials, our labs are transformed into new varieties that are grown in farmers' fields and ultimately make their way to our dinner plates. Breeding for disease resistance is one of the important areas of research at the CDC. Every year, millions of dollars are lost due to disease that affects our crops and with climate change, pathogens are evolving and new pathogens emerge. To improve the quality of our lives, protect our ecosystem, ensure the sustainability of food production, and preserve natural resources for future generations, identifying new sources of disease resistance is critical. The CDC breeds varieties that help us to prevent loss of yield, and more importantly, protect human health. Equally important is the CDC's focus on improving the end uses, nutritional quality, and creating new uses for existing and emerging crops. The Crop Development Center researchers assess nutrition, flavor, quality, and enhanced health-promoting properties, all with the aim of exporting the highest quality product to meet the needs of the world. So much of the food that you eat is coming directly from the great work that's being done at the Crop Development Centre. From the wheat that goes into the pasta or bread that's in your cupboard, to the chickpeas or in your hummus or the lentils in your curry, all of those varieties were developed here at the Crop Development Centre. And when you're driving through the countryside, um, many of the crops that you see growing in the field were developed right here at the Crop Development Centre. We owe them a great debt in terms of, of, of gratitude for the work that they do in developing varieties that really do feed the world. Over the past five years, CDC scientists have led or contributed to sequencing the genomes of 10 different crop kinds, making us a world leader in the application of genomic technologies to crop improvement. We are developing innovative forage varieties to feed a growing livestock sector and new varieties tailored to a growing demand for plant-based diets. The research and breeding activities at the CDC are essential to meet the demands of a hungry and growing world while responsibly caring for our environment. Equally important to the college is the CDC's commitment to teaching, training, and outreach by a dedicated team of teacher scholars. The CDC values collaborations, impact, and integrity we bring diversity and perspective while providing financial strength to our college, our partners, 
and beyond. The Crop Development Center at the University of Saskatchewan, a world-class crop improvement center that delivers crop genetics for society.